If I have to say something to the critics, I can only tell them that I have such grateful patients that come every single day to my practice. I have seen children who get cough and cold every two weeks they take antibiotics. And then after six months, one year, two years of homeopathy, they just come with so much gratitude. They say, now everything is all right. Not only my complaint, but I feel better as a person. My energy has come back. So my suggestion to them, just try it. Do not bother about whether homeopathy is logical, whether it is within the tenets of science as we know it today, whether it is making sense or no sense. Simply watch the results. Our founder Hahnemann, the one who discovered homeopathy, he wrote a book. And the very first words of the book are as follows. Homeopathy appeals to the proof of its action. Just you practice this and publish your failures to the world. Everything comes later. All my explanation, all my theorizing, all my great ideas of this or that or this theory, that theory, no. Once you see its effect, then we will talk further. Don't criticize it on the basis of this or that. What is science exactly? Science is not what you can understand. There are many, many things you can't understand. So science is not based upon what is understandable. Science is based upon what actually happens. It's based on experimentation and observation. Your explanation can follow later. Apples fell to the ground even before Newton discovered the law of gravity. So there are many things that happen which we don't understand today, but that doesn't dismiss it as a fact. Simply you don't understand it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. This concept should go. Look at it. See the patients healed by it. See the studies that have been done and then let science try to explain it, try to come to a point where it can be understood. Whatever we speak about it doesn't make any sense till the person has seen how it works. And the one who has seen how it works would have the curiosity to learn further. I'll give you a very simple example. In the old days, there was a doctor called Mahindra Lal Sarkar. He practiced in Calcutta. And he was the vice president of the British Medical Association of Calcutta branch. Those were the British days there. And at that time, from England, homeopathy was seeping into India. And it was being practiced by a few lay people. And the association wanted to put an end to this nonsense before it grew further. So they appointed Sarkar to give a lecture on the subject, homeopathy is quackery. Now in order for giving this lecture, he went to the clinic of a lay homeopath called Rajan Datta. And he said, let me observe what nonsense you are doing here. After three months of just sitting with that and observing the effects of homeopathy, this very learned and talented medical doctor, he gave a lecture called Homeopathy is the Medicine of the Future, for which he was removed from the British Medical Association. And he became the first Indian homeopath with a medical qualification. So the basic idea before we even start thinking of what homeopathy is, is to know that it works. And then the curiosity comes, how does it work? How is it possible? Because there are, you know, the potencies of homeopathy are so dilute that you can't trace anything substance in it, but yet it works. Now, if we talk about the principles, if people who have seen the effect now are curious, how does it work? And the very simple explanation is as follows, that there are two views of health and of disease. One is that disease is something that affects the parts of the body. 
you have an asthma, so it's a disease of your lungs. You have a colitis, it's a disease of your colon. And so you treat it locally, just like you would treat a car whose one part or the other has gone out of order. But the human body is not like that. The human body is conceived as one, develops as one, lives as one, and dies as one. Everything is interrelated. And that's the reason why asthma or colitis or arthritis or hypertension or diabetes or name it any chronic disease does not have a long term solution in modern medicine because you cannot treat the part and think that it has nothing to do with the whole. Everybody now recognizes asthma is a disease where the immune system becomes hyperactive. It's an allergic disease. Colitis is something that is affected by the mind. One part is affected by the other part and the basic problem is not with the parts but with the central controlling mechanisms with the whole, with the immune system, with the nervous system, with the endocrine system which are all related also to the psyche or the mind. So the first idea of homeopathy is you cannot get a long term solution till you address the basic problem which is in the whole organism. This is called the idea of holism. And the second one is that not only disease affects the whole, but each individual has his own specific state of disease. And therefore, we need to study who the individual is. How does he react to heat and cold? What does he like in food and drink? How does he think? How does he perceive? How does he react? And then we need to select the exact remedy based on our assessment of who the individual person is. And that medicine can stimulate his own healing mechanism to produce a long term solution to the problem. We talk in modern medicine, they say 70 percent of diseases are either produced or aggravated by stress factors. They call it psychosomatic. The question is, what is stress? What is the answer to stress? And modern medicine says, okay, stop worrying, go to yoga, do meditation, don't worry, does not help. Because stress, again, is extremely individual. Stress is not coming from how the situation is, but how each individual perceives and reacts to reality. And that is extremely individualistic. And when a homeopath tries to understand stress, he goes into the individual's perception of reality. Try to understand how does he perceive, how does he sensate, how does he experience stress. And then you see there is so much difference between one and the other. And when you come to that point and you can address that and not remove the stress, but change the perception of the individual into a more healthy perception then everything gets better.